Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be working on this look right here. I was very mermaid inspired with the blue eyeshadow and just all the drama, major, major glam makeup tutorial today. And I'm really excited as well to film this tutorial because this is the exact look, well, almost, almost exact. I couldn't find the lipstick that I wore uh, that day, but it's pretty darn close to the exact makeup uh, look that I wore on my wedding day. And we got married on the beach, so everything was just very ocean blue. I even dyed my hair blue um, to really match the theme. And I decided to be very non-traditional. Most brides like the very soft, you know, soft smoky eye, like natural but not too glam but still glam enough I didn't care I wanted to go all glam like go big or go home that was my mentality and I did full-on like blue eyeshadow smoky eye you know beaming highlights for the beach and a very pretty just like a pinky nude lip because um, that would be like the only lip in my opinion um, for me and my skin tone that would go really nice with this look so yeah I'm super excited to film this tutorial it's super glam and it's in fact very easy to accomplish believe it or not so I'm very excited to do this for you guys so if you like what you see here keep on watching please um, remember to like and subscribe and to share this video with everyone. I am finally on a good filming schedule so you will see videos from me every Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I am on the East Coast in Florida so it'll be 6 p.m. my time and you'll also see videos from me Sundays at 3 p.m. again in my time zone. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully this new schedule works out. I have a filming schedule and editing schedule everything like that so please make sure to follow me on all my social media as well okay so if you again if you like what you see here keep on watching start off with I've already primed my eyes with Maybelline's better skin concealer air spun loose powder and a brush from morphe For the shades in our crease we're going to be using shades from BH cosmetics fifth edition of their 120 color palette and me I'm just zooming in on the fifth edition just to make sure you know what it is and I will be zooming in on the BH cosmetics part so you know what that is as well we're gonna be using these two shades from the palette that way we can build the color in our crease one's a lighter brown and one's a little bit of a darker brown you can take any fluffy brush you have. It can be synthetic, it can be uh, real hair, it doesn't matter. As long as you just take a brush, a nice fluffy one, and you're gonna start working that shade into your crease, like I'm doing here, going back and forth, circular motions, all of that jazz. So you wanna make sure that this shade stays in the middle of your crease. You don't want it too low or too high because then the point of keeping it in the middle is so that when you put in your second shade that darker brown to build up that crease color then you'll drag it down a little bit lower now we're going in with that second crease shade which is that darker brown just to intensify the crease a little bit more not too much just to really define it and as you can see I'm just repeating the same exact process circular motions with your brush back and forth windshield wiper motions all that jazz you just repeat the same thing now for the lid shade this is the most amazing color ever this is from the BH cosmetics uh, foil palette and all I did was take a small just dense shader brush um, sorry not a dense just a small shader brush and sprayed it with Milani's make it last setting spray because this will help make the foil eyeshadow even more intense more metallic and I'm just focusing that as you can see on the inner corner of my eye the middle of my eyelid but I'm not touching the edge because I have another shade specifically for the outer corner of the lid but this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful shade love it it really captures that green um, that I would see like in the ocean 
Going back into the foil palette, I'm going a couple of shades below our lid shade and I'm picking up this darker blue and this will truly, truly capture the gradient that you see in the ocean. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, memor I'm mesmerized by the ocean here. I think I was like born a mermaid in another life or something, but as you can see, you're going to build this gradient of that like sea foam ocean green and then to that really nice teal turquoise blue. It's absolutely beautiful on the eyes, especially when they're all together in that gradient. So you're just going to focus that shade in the outer corner of your eyes. Going in with the Missy Lynn palette from BH Cosmetics, there's a really nice dark, dark blue in that palette. And all I'm doing is taking a smaller, denser brush and focusing that on the outer corner of the eye. And again, because it's so pigmented, you don't need a lot. I just want to intensify that dark blue there so you can really see the gradient that we have going on. focusing on the outer corner and all I'm doing is picking up a little bit just a little bit of black eyeshadow again you don't need a lot but it's to intensify that outer corner there so as you can see you want to go from light blue to that medium blue to the darker blue and that's all I'm doing is just intensifying that very outer corner just a little bit putting on some gel liner by Maybelline New York Eye Studio and this is in the shade Blackest Black. It's their gel liner. I absolutely love it. This does not budge at all whatsoever. Now that we've got our liner on, just put on any mascara. Just choose your favorite. Personally, I chose the L'Oreal Waterproof Mascara in Carbon Black. It's the Voluminous Mascara. And I'm just simply putting on a little bit, a little coat, to prep for fake lashes. For my lashes today, I will be using the Ardell Wispies. And these are so gorgeous and very lightweight. Prime the skin, I'll be using Benefits Core Professional Matte Rescue. This is their gel matte primer. And for some reason, I really, really like this. Give me your thoughts. I haven't really met anyone else that's used it. They've all used the regular professional, but I really like this. It does keep me matte all day and it does fill in my pores. So it works very well for my skin. And to conceal my blemishes, this is just something that I do. You don't have to do it. I like to put concealer basically all over my face and blend it out with either a regular makeup brush or a stippling brush or something, whatever you have in your collection. And this just helps to conceal the blemishes, especially me. I have really, really dark spots on my skin. Um, and that way, when you put on your foundation, you don't have to put on so much of it. For my foundation today, I'll be mixing Wet n Wild's Photo Studio Photo Focus Foundation and Milani's Correct and Conceal. Today, since we're going all, all glam, I will be doing a little bit of pre-contouring slash bronzing before my powder bronzer, go, uh, bronzer goes on. And I'm using the Cover Effects Drops, and this is in the shade Sunset. So all you gotta do is shake it up a little bit. I usually dot it in the back of my hand, and then I take any brush, any brush that you have, as long as it's dense, and I start just drawing the lines where I want them on my face and everything and on my forehead and it's just really easy to work with because it's a liquid and of course I'm putting the liquid before I put on my 
powder bronzer. And then just blend it out with your beauty blender, real technique sponge, whatever makeup sponge you have. For my concealer, as always, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know I fell in love with the $25 concealer. I'm just not getting over it, but I'm in the shade Light Medium Honey, but it's just a beautiful concealer. It leaves everything just so flawless underneath the eyes, and it does not break throughout the day. It really, really doesn't. So all I'm doing here is just highlighting areas that I'd like to highlight, and then I will be blending everything out with... You guessed it, a beauty sponge. Next, I'll be using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder just to set my under eye, my forehead, basically the entire T-zone, and of course the rest of my face. I will be setting my entire face with this powder. my bronzer. I love, uh, love, love, love the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. It is absolutely beautiful. It does not look muddy on my face personally. Um, it just all depends, you know, what you like. So pick up your favorite bronzer and just follow the same process. But personally, I love using the bronzer from Bare Minerals. It just looks so flawless on the skin and I am in the shade dark to deep because any other bronzer that I use looks way too light on my face. To finish up the eyes, I will be putting eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner and it's in their darkest shade which is basically a really really dark intense black and I'm just focusing this on my waterline. Going back in to the Milani palette, I'm taking that black again and I'm just using this and going tight, very, very tight in my lower lash line with a, eye not an eyeshadow, a eyeliner brush and I'm just setting that eyeliner in my waterline so it does not move all day long. I'm going back in with the shade that we used in our eyes, which is that really dark, intense uh, blue. And I'm just smudging that in my lower lash line just to give it a very nice smoky effect. Once again, I am going back into the Milani palette, picking up a nice light brown just to finish off that lower lash line. So you start with really dark, intense shades, and then you smoke and lighten them out to give it a nice blown out look in the lower lash line. Then you finish it off with your favorite coat of mascara, and you are done with the eyes. For my blush, I will be using a product by Milani. This is an oldie but a goodie, and this is their baked blush in the shade Luminoso. The reason why I love it so much is because look at that beautiful peachy shade. I absolutely love it. It looks beautiful on the skin. It really gives you a nice luminous glow. I forgot that I needed to do my brows and I just did them so I skip over all of that for you guys. If not, this would be a million years long. So I'm going back in with the Missy Lynn palette one more time and I'm taking that really beautiful light shade in the palette and I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone as well. For my highlight today, I want to have a beaming, intense pop on the cheek. So I'm taking the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the shade Sunlight. And all you need is a little bit, I mean, look at that highlight. 
All you need is a tiny, tiny bit, um, not even a full drop, and all I'm doing is blending it very lightly into the skin, and I know it's a liquid, and I'm putting it on top of powder, but for the highlight, all I use is a tiny, tiny bit, like to the point where it just very easily blends in, and it doesn't break up the powder that you set underneath it. Right over top of the Cover FX drops, I'm going to take Champagne Pop. This is from Becca Cosmetics, and I'm trying to look for my brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit, tap off the excess, and just place it right on top, just kind of as like a topper. And then this one, I'm going to be a little bit more generous with it. I'm going to place in the apples of my cheeks, plus on that really nice high point of the cheeks and it looked good. I love it. My highlight was popping on my wedding day. Everyone was like, girl, that highlight. <laughs> Now finally we are on to the lips and I'll be lighting my lips first with Milani's lip pencil in the shade Spice and I really like this color. It really um, gives it a nice nudie pink shade to the lips um, and it went really well with the liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild that I will be putting on my lips right after I line them. The liquid lip of my choice today is from Wet n Wild. This is their liquid cat suit matte lipstick and this is in the shade Coral Corruption. It is a beautiful, nice, nudie pink. Um, basically, I think of it like the coral reef underwater, nice a little pinky nude. And it goes very well with this look. I think it complements it. Now finally, last thing we need to do is set that makeup in place. You work so hard to get it there, now you need to make sure that it stays in place. And I'm using Milani's Make It Last Setting Spray. This does not get old. I love the way it mists and I love the way it just covers everything. It makes your makeup last so much longer. And that is it. Alright, this is the finished look right here. This is what you will get. Um, you can change up the lip if you want to. Personally, I went with a really nice pinky nude lip so it doesn't really clash with the blue eyeshadow. But again, this is your creativity. This is your canvas, your face. I am just giving a pure example as to what works with me and my skin tone and my face and my likes and my dislikes. So um, yeah, so do whatever your little heart desires and I hope you enjoyed this video I really hope you enjoyed this very in a sense like simplistic mermaid look and I hope you get inspired and kind of put your own spin on it so uh, yeah this is it I hope you enjoyed it please remember to like and subscribe to this channel share it give it a thumbs up and please make sure to keep following me remember my videos come out Wednesday evenings at 6 and Sunday afternoons at 3 so um, I hope you guys continue to watch and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.